All right, still downtown here, and I'm speaking to who? I'm speaking to Dana Israel, sir. All right, are you a Daytonian originally? Yes. Okay. Born and raised. What do you think about this here? It's nonsense. I don't, I don't like it a bit, and that's why I'm down here. I could be anywhere else in the world today. I choose to be right here and stand for my people. You see what I'm saying? That everybody that can't stand with us, everybody that wanted to be here that can't be here today, I'm here. We here. You see what I'm saying? And it's, like I said, it's just some bullshit because if us as black folks, if we wanted to come down here and throw something like this, just on a positive note, we wouldn't, we, we wouldn't get no fences to protect us. Right. We wouldn't have narrow piece of law enforcement down here. Uh, uh, snipers and all this on the roof. Right. Yeah, they spent a lot of money for this. But they can't fix the potholes in the city of Dayton. Right, 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 right. What would you tell the mayor right now if you could talk to him? I'd tell the mayor that you don't need to be no mayor hmm. because you could have stopped all of this. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You didn't, what they, they, they didn't, what they would have got a little petty lawsuit if they would have, or something, you know, some right. other, but they didn't care about none of this because they know how easy this could turn, this could this could turn sour real quick, right. but they don't care about that, you see what I'm saying, yeah. as far as the law enforcement and all, that's not going to stop, that's just, just going to be a whole bunch of people down here getting hurt, yeah. and they know it could have turned sour, but they still went ahead and let it happen. Yeah. Last thing, man, uh, any word for the people of Dayton, any word for us? Man, us as the people of Dayton, we got to keep our heads up. We got to stick together, stay together. You, you see, they letting shit like this happen. It, it, it's just, it, we got too much, man. We got too much to, to, to try to bring back to our city, man. You, you see, they trying, they taking it away from us. Okay. All right, bro. Appreciate you. So, appreciate it. This is G back at you down here in downtown Dayton, and I'm speaking with Jason Dayton, best kept secret. Tell me about that. Why are you Dayton's best kept secret? Man, that's just my name, and they always just try to keep me a secret, but now everybody know me, so I ain't a secret no more. But I stand for Dayton. I am Dayton, and we're here today to speak out against these racist-ass KKK and the racist-ass police who let this shit happen in the city. So we standing against this shit. Yeah, man, if you, could, if you could talk to the KKK, if you could tell them anything, what would you tell them? If I could talk to the KKK, I'd tell them to suck a dick. What the fuck they doing out here, man? I hope they don't make it home because they on some racist bullshit. But we're trying to spread positivity. But sometimes you got to get positivity with negativity sometimes. Because sometimes motherfuckers need to get their head busted. So when they think they can come do some shit like this and the motherfucking city think it's cool to build up fences and do that type of shit when they don't want to help the homeless, they don't want to do nothing to help nobody in the community. But they do shit like this, so we ain't standing for that. So it's fuck the police. Fuck the city of Dayton if they're going to continue to allow this type of shit to happen in our community. All right. One last thing. I understand you got a movie out. Yeah, yeah. The movie called Got My Hustle Up. You can watch that on Vimeo or GotMyHustleUp.com. Follow me now, Jason DBKS or Jason Hampton on Facebook, man. Log on now, GotMyHustleUp.com. All right, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, this is Philip G. once again, downtown Dayton, and I'm speaking to who? My name is Shay. <laughs> My name, yeah, it's all good. My name is Shay. Hey, Shay, wh what are you doing down here today? Man, I was at first I was against coming down here, but now I'm just seeing the unity, man. I'm glad I came down here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I just needed a brighter picture on what was going on. If I would have stayed at home, I wouldn't have actually seen the message behind the message to me. You know what I mean? The KKK is over there. But over here, man, we got so much unity, man. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. You haven't seen anything like this Never before? Never seen nothing like this, man. It's beautiful. It's it? beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. What do you think about the turnout? 
It did well. I know a lot of people didn't come. I would have been one of those people, but it did well, man, for the most part. Yeah. yeah. If you could tell the leader of the Klan anything, what would you tell him? Suck my dick, bitch! <laughs> <laughs>